Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today, the LEGO City Junior's Ocean Mini Submarine. This has 41 pieces, one figure, and without further ado, let's take a look at that figure. So the figure here does not have any exclusive parts, but the torso and leg prints are new for this um, LEGO City sub theme, which is pretty cool, and this is the cheapest way to get it. I do like the um, prints with like the carabiners and just like all the buckles on the um, torso there and then the face print looks pretty good and then the red hat and yeah I don't have anything else to say about the figure now let's move on to the shark. The shark here is probably the main reason why many people will buy this set since the shark only comes in I think it's like the $80 um the biology lab underwater lab set so this is a really cool piece it does have um uh, it, since this is an exclusive, but it does have that um, new molded headpiece for the hammerhead shark, which does have the eye printing, and they do use this old shark body. It is kind of rare to get in this coloring though, so that's pretty nice, but the shark piece is pretty great, and um, it connects the same way as the other shark heads and or sawfish heads, um, but yeah, you can open it and close it, and honestly, I think this is a really cool design for this animal, and yeah. It also has a little bit of a pole connection right there, so if you want to get a little piece of seaweed and attach it on like there. Sorry, you can't really see that, but you can make it look like it's swimming. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to this side build, actually. I guess I'll show you that right now. Um, this side build doesn't have anything too special. It's just on a 4x4 plate. It has a little bit of seaweed right there, and then inside the chest there is two little diamonds, a clear and like a turquoise or teal one. Um, yeah, so you can discover or look for this treasure with your submarine. Now let's take a look at the submarine. So this is the submarine build, and I actually really like this build. I think it's pretty good for um, $10. It, it, this base piece for the juniors is exclusive in the yellow coloring. It does come in a few other sets. Um, it does have little propellers on the back, so it can actually move. And then it has some robotic arm, or not robotic arms, but arms that you can move a full 360 degrees. And then you can also rotate those arms out. And it does have little clips on the end, so you can clip in a treasure chest like that if you want to. Or you can clip in the diamonds in the other situation if you want to. But um, the only problem that I have with this is actually just in the cockpit. So you see there is a little seat where you can put your minifigure, but the only problem I have is there's no controls. So I don't know how the figure would be controlling the submarine. I mean, it's not like a big deal, but they could have just added, um, I don't know, like a little control panel, like on the sides maybe, like two little control panels, or change out the seat for a modified plate and then a little one by two cheese slip, or yeah, one by two cheese slip with some printing on it. I mean, I don't know if that's asking for much, but it's just like, to improve it so it actually looks like um, the figure's controlling something other than just kind of sitting there and while the submarine floats around. And yeah, this is kind of a weird design for a submarine, but for a junior set, I think that's fine. Now let's look at the packaging and then my final verdict. So for the box, they do have this little $10 box size and then it has the four plus right there. The back of the box just shows how it is easy to build and then it shows that you can go away with the treasure and yeah. I mean, that's not too bad. It also shows everything in the set. Now let's look at the instructions in the leftover pieces. Leftover pieces, there are just two, two of these little diamonds. You can put these in the chest if you want to find more treasure. Now let's look at the instructions. So for the instructions, there's nothing really interesting. It obviously shows you how to build it. But at the end, there is actually a little ad here that shows the National Geographic Explorers. So when you get these, they kind of support the National Geographic Explorers and stuff, and it shows a little picture of a coral reef and then an actual hammerhead shark, which I think is cool. And they have the piece count and then the wind. I also got this little um, pamphlet here that is basically saying that kids can go free to Legoland if there's a paid adult, and then they have a little Legoland ad. And just a little bit more in deep depth of that kids go free. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Now let's take a look at my final verdict. So for this set, I actually really like this set. I mean, it is $10 and I can't ask for a better price than that. I mean, you do get these big pieces, so those cost more. And then the new shark head mold for the hammerhead shark, that's also a little bit gonna be a little bit more expensive, but I think this is a great set. I mean, the only complaint that I have is I wish there was just some indication that there is controls of the submarine. Yeah, sure, it could be a remote control submarine, like it's being controlled from the ship, but then what's the little person doing in there? Um, yeah, I just 
Just wish there were controls. Um, I think it's great with the little terrain with the treasure. I think that's pretty cool. I love the Hammerhead Shark and it's definitely the main draw to this set because he only, or the Hammerhead Shark only comes in one other set and that's what, $80 and this is $10. So it's a, definitely a much cheaper way to get this Hammerhead Shark, which is a great way to get it. But yeah, I think this is a good set and um, I honestly don't have much else to say about this. This is an A plus for me. If, if you like what you see here, definitely get it. Don't let the juniors tag on it push you away from it because I think it's a good set in general um, and I think there's a lot of play value with this for some um, kids with the little bit of treasure that the submarine has to find and the shark so yeah that's really awesome um, if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing and I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts about this set in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video peace out bye